Hello everyone, I am Ümit Alkuş. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 7. A 25 kg crate is initially at rest. With the help of a constant force T of unknown magnitude, the crate is moved up a distance L equals 3.2 meters along a frictionless plane that makes theta equals 35 degrees with the horizontal as shown in the figure. The speed of the crate is V equals 1.7 meters per second at this moment. A. Using work kinetic energy theorem, calculate work done by force T. First of all, we draw the free beta diagram of the crate. First, we choose the appropriate coordinate axis. Next, we draw all the forces on the body. The gravitational force on the body is like this. Secondly, since the crate is in contact with the surface, then there is a normal force perpendicular to the surface. Finally, force T is drawn as it is. The work done by the normal force N is found by the formula N dot L. The angle between the normal force and the distance is 90 degrees. And since cosine 90 degrees is zero, then the result is zero. And the work done by the gravitational force is equal to m times g dot l. From the figure, the angle between the gravitational force and the distance is 90 degrees plus theta. With the help of the trigonometric identities, we have cosine 90 degrees plus theta as negative sine theta. Therefore, we obtain negative m times g times l times sine theta. Now, we can put the numerical values into the corresponding places. As a result, we obtain negative 449.68 joules. Now, we use the work kinetic energy theorem, that is, total work equals delta K, where delta K is the change in the kinetic energy which is equal to 1 over 2 times m times v squared minus v0 squared. Here the initial velocity, that is v0 is 0, then we obtain delta k equals 1 over 2 m times v squared. Also, total work is equal to wn plus wg plus wt, where wt is the work done by force t. Here wn is equal to 0, then we get an expression for wt as 1 over 2 times m times v squared minus wg. With the corresponding numerical values, we obtain the work done by force T as 485.81 joules, which is approximately 486 joules in three digits. B. Determine the magnitude of force T. By the definition of work, wt equals t dot l. Because the angle between t and l is zero, then we obtain t times l. From this, we get an expression for t as wt over l. Since we know these values, we have the magnitude of force T as approximately 152 newtons. Ok, that's all about this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.